Dallas get a game winner. Hits pass. Caught by Dirk. Over by Lute for the win. He gets the ball. He got it. He, he got, got the ball. Hey guys, this is Dominique Wilkins. And this is Sean Kepper. This is Gary Payton. Hey, this is Paul Gasol. And you're fans, what's up? This is Vince Carter here. Hey, what's up? This is Matt Barnes. If you're an old school NBA fan like I am, make sure you check out the basketball time machine with my man Sean David. Hey guys, what's good? Welcome back to the Basketball Time Machine. I'm your host, Sean David. Thanks for tuning in. Let's talk some old school NBA basketball. In today's episode, I want to take a look at NBA legends, giving their opinion about how good Dirk Nowitzki really was. But before we dive into that, let me ask you guys for a small favor. Please subscribe to the channel. It's really, really important to help this channel to grow. And also like the video if you enjoy the content. All right, enough said. Let's dive right into today's episode. Now the first clip that we're going to take a look at is partly a career retrospective, but also NBA legends giving their opinion about Dirk Nowitzki. Let's have a look. I just know what he means to Dallas. I love the way Dallas gave me love. The fans, every time they step into the game, they stand and cheer. I just get tears in my eyes. He always set a standard of how we want to be. It just brings back so many memories. The way he put Dallas on the map and the things he's done for Dallas. The shot that will be in statue one day. Dirk Nowitzki is the only main guy that was a stretch four guy that led his team to a championship. Spins around him and throws it down. Ready, move. The sky's the limit for Dirk. This is Dirk, this is Dirk Nowitzki. What did you expect out of Dallas this year anyway? Did you expect them to make a run to the playoffs? This is Dirk's final year. Show some respect to one of the greatest players to ever play. I'm all fine with Dirk being out there. The fans want to see him. This is his last run. Hats off to Dirk what, he, what he's been able to do in his long, great career. Now, as we know, Dirk Nowitzki was one of the greatest shooters. And the next guy who's actually talking about Dirk Nowitzki is also one of the best shooters of all time, Reggie Miller. Let's see what he has to say about Dirk. Uh, Bill Russell, I think, changed the game. Michael changed the game. I think Dirk Nowitzki changed the game for big men coming in because 25 years ago, Dirk is on the low post. And not only that, the floodgates really opened for international players. Um by looking at the success of Dirk. And, you know, arguably, and I will say this, he's probably the best big man shooter the game has ever seen. Certainly seven footer. And the skills that he possessed because he was that inside outside threat. Um, if you look at a lot of the international players and look at our game today, how so much is predicated with having a stretch four and a stretch five being able to knock down threes, uh, you know, be the trailer on a break and knock down threes. That's all because of, of Dirk. So congratulations, big fella. I mean, having played against him, another one of those guys, think about the golden age of power forwards during that 90s and 2000s where <laughs> you had Tim Duncan, Kevin Garnett, you had Dirk, you had Steve Webb. I mean, it was, you had uh, Rashid Wallace, uh, Antonio McDye. I mean, it was just an unbelievable position to play back in the day. Is Dirk better than Larry Bird? Um, no, but I could see where people could love to make the comparison. It was totally two different games. I, I thought Larry was a much better passer and probably rebounder. And Dirk's a better shooter, probably a better scorer, though yeah. Larry had his moment. And the following clips that we're going to take a look at are from my favorite NBA show of all time, NBA Open Court. Let's there was only one guy on that list that was the main guy. So my question is, can your main guy be a stretch four guy? No. Because Dirk, I mean, because no. Dirk, I mean, Dirk, I mean, Dirk and Whiskey is the only main guy that was a stretch four guy that led his team to a championship. See, but I think Dirk 
Dirk is a little bit different. Yeah. I think Dirk and Kevin Durant, they're a little bit different because they get the ball. When we start talking about stretch forward, we're basically talking about who stands out there and opens up the court. Yeah. I don't think Dirk is a stretch four. Uh, I think Dirk, Dirk's a guy you get a ball to and let him go. Especially so Dirk in his earlier years, you could put him at that elbow line area or that pinch post. He did the fadeaway with the knee up where guys now, Kevin Durant, are copying him yeah. with the fadeaway. So he had a back-to-the-basket game as well. But on the flip side, he just so happened to be one of the best 6'10", 6'11", shooters our right. this game has ever seen. Proud of because I played against him. Uh, we battled against each other, and when he came in the league, I don't know if his ceiling was that high or his expectations. And that's Dirk Nowitzki. I mean, I got a chance to play for Don Nelson, and I think Don Nelson needs to be credited for the way that this kid played. Because if you would have put him in the post at a young age, I don't know if he would have been this successful. But being able in that mid range, then stretching at the three pointer, and as a big guy, you know, Bosh, we weren't used to when you first come in the league playing out on that three point line, moving laterally, so hard to stop Dirk Nowitzki when he has that kick stand and he's going. Well, yeah, I mean, he's always been a player to play to his strength. Yeah. He's got that high release. Yeah. He's got a great post game, but he extended it a little bit. Yeah. That Carl Malone elbow type area, yeah. the extended post, he became a master at that and could always face you up and knock shots down as well as shoot threes. And I mean, he was just such a great competitor and just to, you know, play against him, it's not much you can do. I mean, look at how good defense come on. you had. You I mean, stop yeah, him, he jumps off the wrong he, foot. And, and the things that people don't see, he gives you that nudge. Yeah. And that sends you flying a little bit, and you don't want to foul. Yeah. And I mean, he's the guy that Man, really made that one-legged yeah, jumper yeah. really very popular. I mean, I, I watched him when he was in high school. I think he played against the USA Select team. Uh. And I watched this dude score like 35, 12 rebounds. And I never really seen a big dude like that that, that can go foot, coast man. to coast, yeah. stop on a dime and pull up for a three. I seen the Chris Chris Webbers and, and 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 the KGs who can push it and make plays, but never a big dude who can stop and mix somebody and pull up with a soft touch on the three. So, you know, Dirk is a, a, a legend to me because of he's one of a kind. You know what I mean? He's truly one of a kind. Yeah, and when you talk about you know one of the kind, one of a kind, and, and legends, you know, we we have one sitting next to us that's getting ready to go into the Hall of Fame. That's so. right. I, <laughs> yeah. How did you do against Dirk? Hey, well, I tell you, I, I used to go at Dirk because a player that's great on oh. offense, you make him pay on the defensive end. So I tried to put him in the mixer, okay, inside and well. outside, keep him moving. Oh. Okay, see what? Oh, 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 that big fella. You know, Come on, that's that. Okay, you know, big fella. Okay. He's amazing. One of my favorite players ever. Um, play the game. Um, just his ability, what he's able to do. You know, at his size, his ability to shoot the ball, his ability to sacrifice. Uh, you know, shots. You know, for other guys being a part of this team and part of this franchise over the years. Um, and then his loyalty obviously speaks volumes. Um, he's just a true professional, a guy who continues to get better every every year, and uh, and also when he slowed down just a bit, you know, he expanded on other parts of his game to, till, to still make him efficient and still make him effective out on the floor. His consistency, his level of play is is incredible. I think what solidified him as one of the greats, he just continued to get better and better and better and better to a point where he was unstoppable. Somebody that is unguardable and created a shot that really can't be blocked. Big fan, my hero, shoot the blood out of that thing. We never hit him by choke, you know. I just always look like I'm killing one of our guys on the sides every time. Just a big fan of, of him and, and what he did on the court, how he changed the game. He's one of those guys who who, who did it the exact right way. He's one of the few that you, you want to point your son towards. It's been an honor and a privilege to watch him play. It's been an honor and a privilege to get to know him. So how good was Dirk Nowitzki in my opinion? Well, I remember the 2011 NBA Finals where Dirk Nowitzki played out of his mind and was one of the best players I've ever seen in that series. Also, definitely he was one of the best shooters of all time, a guy who was super clutch and definitely one of the first stretch forwards that were also the main guy on their roster. So Dirk Nowitzki, in my opinion, definitely one of my top 25 players of all time. All right, you guys, that was it for today's episode. I hope you enjoyed the content. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to the channel. And I'll see you next time on the Basketball Time Machine. That may be the last time we see Dirk ever dunk the basketball. We are going to give you the Dallas 
key to the city. He did the fadeaway with the knee up where guys now are copying him yeah. with the fadeaway. So he just so happened to be one of the best 6'10", 6'11", shooters right. this game has ever right. seen.